And inside California politics host and Fox 40 Zone Nikki Lorenzo is at the DNC for us and joins us now live tonight from the United Center in Chicago with more on Biden's address. Nikki, how's it going? Guys, night one in the books here at the DNC in Chicago. And I have to tell you, we were watching the clock, all of us up here, waiting to see when the president was going to speak, and time kept ticking on. Obviously, we talked about this earlier uh, when I spoke with you guys, that the DNC kicked off a little later than usual. A lot of guests and attendees weren't able to get in because some of those Palestinian protests uh, closed down one of the entrances. So it took folks about two and a half hours to get in. But once this arena was packed. You can feel the energy in here. And it was a, an all-star lineup to kick off night one. Uh, one of the biggest applauses and, and cheers from the crowd uh, came initially from when former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton spoke tonight, the crowd cheering her on, uh, really paving the way for someone like uh, Kamala Harris. A and as the night ticked on, we saw you know emotional speeches from Dr. Jill Biden, the First Lady, also Ashley Biden, the Biden's daughter. And then it was time for Joe Biden to take the stage. And and the arena just completely erupted. He had to wipe tears away several times. The crowd chanting for a few minutes. He couldn't even uh, start his remarks. But when he did, he really focused on his past. I mean, this was a, sort of a Biden appreciation night. I'm sure there's going to be some criticism of the president who didn't really focus on the future and Kamala Harris, but really focused on his record, why he decided to run uh, in 2020. He mentioned Charlottesville and and pointed out the other ticket and Donald Trump and fighting for the soul of America. Here's a little bit of what the president had to say tonight. With a grateful heart, I stand before you now on this August night to report that democracy has prevailed. <laughs> democracy. Democracy has delivered. And now democracy must be preserved. You heard the applause there, a lot of applause from the crowd when he talked about beating big pharma, bringing down the prices of prescription drugs, specifically insulin, talking about the infrastructure bill, hitting Donald Trump on that, saying during his administration it was always infrastructure week, and then infrastructure week never really happened. Then as the speech started to wind down, there were chants that were erupting, you know, we love you, Joe, we love you, Joe. And then he said, let's essentially go out there and we have to beat Donald Trump and Kamala Harris and Tim Walls are the folks to do that. Uh, so I do want to point out that the vice president took the stage briefly tonight at the beginning of the convention. Uh, she spoke just very quickly, didn't say a whole lot, but we want to share some of that because, of course, her big night is Thursday night. This November, we will come together and declare with one voice, as one people, we are moving forward. All right, so tomorrow night is a new theme. Tonight was We the People. Tomorrow is a bold vision for America. And, of course, guys, we're in Chicago, so that means the Obamas are up tomorrow night. A big heavy hitters and obviously a crowd favorite. But for now, live here at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago at the United Center, I'm Nikki Lorenzo. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Guys, back to you. Nikki, thank you. Don't forget, Nikki will be in Chicago all this week for the DNC. Tune in every night for live reports and analysis. And when Nikki isn't live with us, she'll be taking part in Fox 40's parent company, Nextar's extensive digital coverage during the convention. Nikki is being joined by the team from The Hill and digital host Chip Brewster in the middle of all the action there in Chicago. You can see the show streaming live starting at 10 a.m. on fox40.com and on the Fox 40 app, of course, during the Democratic National Convention.